It was a heated exchange between some members of the National Council of Provinces and the Minister of the Department of Home Affairs, Aaron Motswaledi, when he faced multiple questions regarding the alleged re-entry of Prophet Bushiri and his wife into South Africa. The City Press newspaper on its Sunday edition of the paper had claimed that a Malawian couple who have been labelled fugitives in South Africa were spotted in Johannesburg on three separate occasions, the last being in April. However, the Minister of Home Affairs was unhappy with his questioning on these allegations and asked for evidence on the supposed allegations. Quote, Yesterday I was listening to Bushiri's lawyer on SAFM and he said this was rubbish to imagine that he can take chances and come here. Of course, people dismissed that because they want to believe the report in the city press. The onus lies on the writer of the report to give proof to you so that we can no longer make assumptions and we have got the proof that it actually happened." Unquote. Motswaledi said even the Hawks have distanced themselves from the report, meaning the report in the newspaper has no proof. Nobody ever denied that Bushiri escaped out of this country. On the contrary, a team led by military intelligence, state security and the police, in other words, a team led by the Minister of Defense, Minister of Police with their respective departments, which includes the Hawks, are leading that team, made a statement that they would have released the results of that investigation. Bushiri's lawyer, Opona Kitha, responding to these allegations, said his client was in Malawi. Any such report was baseless and unfounded. No, those are baseless allegations. There is no iota of truth in them. It would be better for all of us to ignore them and perhaps move forward with the, mat the matter which is in court and that's what matters to us at, the, at, at this point in time. All I know is that my client has been in Malawi since he left South Africa. He has no intention of leaving Malawi. It would be absurd for somebody to think that he leaves South Africa and then he goes back to South Africa. It, it, it really doesn't add up at all. So as far as we're concerned, we've not been communicated at all and we'd be shocked that somebody can, can, can contact us on that kind of an allegation. And you must understand this very correctly, is that he, when he was released by the court, he was released unconditionally. He is not, he is not limited in terms of his movements. Now, if my client would want to travel beyond Malawi, he is free to do so. And nobody should raise eyebrows when he, when he travels. Hmm. But I know for a fact that he's not going to take that route because of the case, which is the extradition case, which is here. And until that case is over, he's always been in Malawi. I know where he lives. I know where he stays. We're in touch all the time. And they're not hiding. They're, all, they're, they're in the streets. They go about their life normally. It's not like he, they're in hiding. Hmm. They, they are carrying out their lives normally in Malawi. So it's shocking somebody to say no, they've been spotted in South Africa. It's an unstarted, so to say.